My name's Glenda Wright, I'm 24. I am a current NKU Chase College of Law student. I'm going into my second semester. I'm a youth advocate and I'm also a former foster youth. I am one of four. I have three brothers, I um, love them to death. We grew up m for a majority being raised by our grandmother. You know, my mother struggled with a lot of different things and so um, it was best for us to be placed with my grandmother. I would say my grandmother um, is the foundation of who I am. Um, I can't say enough good things about her. Um, she was loving. Um, she told me that I could do anything I wanted to do. When she passed away, unfortunately, in 2009, there wasn't anyone to take all four of us. So then we went into foster care at that time, and I was a freshman in high school. It was one of the hardest years of my life. That's whenever I started being split up from my brothers, so that was really um, awful, too. It almost felt like somewhat of another death to not have them with me in such a big transition in my life. I had seven placements in four years that I was in high school. For one of my placements, it wasn't a good placement for me or for them. I didn't feel like they um, personally fed us adequately. So I remember um, kind of going to my social worker and telling them, you know, they're kind of giving us Hot Pockets and ramen noodles for like a straight year at this point. And I remember my social worker telling me, you know, a lot of kids have it worse and it doesn't say what they have to feed you, just that they have to feed you. So whenever you're 18, you can recommit, you can leave and just kind of go out on your own, which is um, what we see a lot of youth doing. I personally decided to recommit. Um, I've always wanted to go to college. And so I knew financial wise and just support wise that recommitting would be my best option. I went to Murray State University, where I joined the Voices of the Commonwealth, the VOC, which is a youth advocacy program, paid advocacy position through Murray State. Um, I remember transitioning to work in the DCS Commissioner's Office, and they came to me one day and they're like, we would like you to rework on the Bill of Rights that we have. Now at that time, it was only in SOP, so their standard procedure, operating procedures. And I was like, well, this is something I'd love to see solidified in law. I think it needs to be. You know, we have a Foster Parents Bill of Rights. Why are we not looking at our youth? I feel like the youth should be the center and they should be the most important aspect of the team. And so that's something I'm really proud of. You know, these rights are, when you read them, they look like basic human rights. But unfortunately, you know, some of these rights aren't protected. And so putting it in law and making sure there's a process that um, they can file complaints um, was really important to me. Before the driver's license law came into effect, foster youth were not allowed to get their permit, their driver's license, until after they turned 18. And as you can imagine, that's a lot of barriers, especially if the youth doesn't recommit to the state. Not only are you dealing with just getting around and making sure that you have a you know secure way to get to work, but you're also dealing with um, just a right that you're told these youth that they don't get to have. It's kind of like we were punishing them for a situation that they had no control over. When I'm walking around campus, um, I kind of think back to how I grew up in that little girl that never thought that this would be possible. I want to just basically prove that um, no matter what your dreams are, your circumstances and your past, don't have to hold you back and I think that's just what motivates me the most is being able to get that message across such a good wholesome message for our youth.